walls does this extraction socket have? Okay, this tooth, tooth just cracked, let's say, a week before, two weeks before. Uh, timing is everything, so we extracted the tooth in a timely manner. I did it in the most atraumatic way I could. I split the roots, I removed it. How many walls does this socket have? What if I told you that this extraction socket has 10 walls? It has 10 walls because each each, ex each extraction socket has five. The mesial has a buccal lingual, mesial distal, and an apical. It has a floor. And same for the distal. So to my knowledge, five plus five is 10. This extraction socket has 10 walls. That is the most ideal extraction socket there could be. And that's why the interceptor bone is so critical. If I had lost the interceptor bone, if I had ruined it, or if it had broken off and we, things happen, all of a sudden from a 10-wall extraction socket, we would go to half, to five. So think about it. Losing a small piece of bone can have a very negative impact on the healing and the final outcome, okay? We're talking about predictability. We're talking about safety in this course. So try to minimize the damage to bone, try to maximize the number of walls. So the number, the correct number is 10. So if I use the compartment extraction technique, all I would have to do is graft each socket individually and I'll keep it very simple. And this is a very simple case. Uh, I'll use collagen, pl pl a collagen plug or two discs of a collagen plug on the occlusal surface of the extraction. And that would be my occlusal or the ceiling of the extraction, okay? This is the, the missing compartment. And that's it. That's it. Place an X suture. You don't have to aim for primary closure. Not at all. This is one of the um, major misconceptions when it comes to extraction sockets. A lot of doctors think that they need to advance tissue to primarily close the, so close the socket primarily for better healing, for better outcomes. Quite the opposite. If you're doing that, you're going to compromise the soft tissue, going to compromise the blood supply, and you'll get a poor outcome. The compartment extraction technique uh, intentionally leaves the occlusal part open, okay? And you'll get more attached and keratinized tissue which will allow you to, number one, have better bone, more bone, better quality bone for your osteotomy, for your implant, but also good soft tissue around your final outcome. Okay, so this is a very simple case of a 10-wall extraction socket with a good final result. So I hope this is very, very clear.